Hi, Les here, and uh, as you guys know, I normally fly a Cessna 172, but uh, in this case, I'm learning to fly the Diamond DA40 with the glass cockpit of the G1000. It's a technically advanced aircraft, or TAA as the FAA refers to it, and uh, I'm glad to have you come along on my very first uh, training flight on it. I want to apologize in advance for the camera angle with the canopy sunshade taking up too much of the top of the frame as well as only using one camera instead of my usual three. And finally, for not recording any of the communications both with ATC and inside the cockpit. We're at the John Wayne Orange County Airport. Uh, that's KSNA or Kilo Sierra November Alpha. It's a very busy uh, Class Charlie uh, airfield. Here I am on the roll, uh, waiting to get up to uh, rotate speed, which is right there at 59 knots. At this airport, you have to make a 15 degree offset to the left when taking off from this runway, which was 20 left. So there's my, my slight offset. Uh, that's so we don't interfere with the airliners on 20 right. Once we get up to a safe altitude, I'll clean up the plane by taking out the flaps, turn off the fuel pump, and then configuring it for a VY climb. Up to this point, uh, the goal was to climb out the first 500 feet at, at VX, best angle, and then uh, transition to a VY climb. Uh, now we're turning uh, 080 toward the El Toro area, the El Toro VOR, which is a standard uh, departure from uh, from this airport. So now I'm about to take out the flaps and turn off the electronic fuel pump. Meanwhile, my instructor is pointing out different things about the Garmin uh, G1000. This is where we started performing our maneuvers for the day. This one is a steep turn. It's a steep turn to the right in which I have to make a 360 degree turn. So it's a full circle at a 45 degree bank angle while maintaining a constant altitude, airspeed, and heading. Constant meaning at least within certain tolerances. Maintaining altitude of plus or minus 100 feet, airspeed plus or minus 10 knots, and the bank angle plus or minus 5 degrees. Oh, and you have to roll out of the turn at the same heading on which you entered the turn, plus or minus 10 degrees. Now we're slowing down so I can uh, enter what we call slow flight. That's where we have uh, full flaps and we're at the slowest speed possible without stalling. The stall speed in this configuration on this airplane is about 49 knots. And I will be probably going around 55, 57 knots. Uh, you know, you want to stay just above that stall speed. Flying at this slow of a speed uh, means your flight controls are a little less responsive and a little mushy as they say. Uh, so everything has to be done uh, slowly and with some finesse. So here my instructor is telling me to uh, make a 180 degree turn. So just basically turn around and go the other way. So uh, I'm doing a, a small angle of a turn I guess it's uh, compar definitely compared to this to the uh, steep turns of 60 degrees. I think I'm turning here possibly 10 degrees, 10 to 15. It's hard to see what I was doing, but yeah, it was not even a standard rate. Uh, going at this speed, you want to just take your time and no, no abrupt movements. At this point, the 30 minute timer went off, and there I am checking it and then clearing it out. Uh, 
and what that 30 minute timer reminds me to do is to switch uh, fuel tanks from one wing to the other uh, just to, to keep them in balance and you, know, you don't want to use up all the fuel in one tank and not the other you'll, you'll be uh, definitely out of balance. One of the things that bugs me about this timer is there's no easy way to set it back to you know, the previous setting, uh, in my case 30 minutes. I have to go in and scroll through the hours, make sure it's zero, then minutes, set it to 30, then seconds back to zero. Uh, unless I'm missing something, if there's an easier way to do it, please uh, leave a comment below. I'd love to be able to just uh, push a button and have it start again at the last, uh, last timing value. Thanks. Next up is a power off stall. So it's a low speed stall. If you notice my speed, I'm probably around 50 something now, but now I start to pull up. I'm pulling up, I'm pulling up, it starts to stall. I'm a little uncoordinated. Uh, and then it, the stall breaks and we recover from that, pointing the nose down a bit and then leveling off and then climbing back out, adding power. Uh, here we are, we're gonna try it again. This one's is more coordinated this time. And uh, we're pulling back, pulling back, and it breaks, we get the stall. We are basically just relieving pressure on the stick, uh, not really pushing forward on it. Uh, we level off, we give it power, and we start our climb again. Now we're gonna do what we call a power on stall. And this is to simulate uh, rolling down the runway on takeoff and reaching rotate speed, in this case, uh, 59 knots. And then you pull back on the stick to take off. You're climbing, you're climbing, and for whatever reason, you, uh, you're climbing too steeply. So you're beyond uh, VX or best climb. You're, you're, you're at a very high angle of attack and it's to simulate a stall at, at takeoff under full power uh, in which the recovery process is just to uh, uh, bring the nose down, get some speed, and keep the power in so you can uh, uh, gain that speed and then continue your climb at a normal uh, rate. Here we go, we're up, we're up, we're, we're about to stall. It's very hard to stall these things or at least compared to the Cessna. And I'm pulling back, I'm pulling back. We're full power. Take off laps, there we go, and it stalls. So it's basically let it settle uh, level and continue going and then uh, once you get enough airspeed, start your climb again at a uh, reasonable angle. Here I'm doing it again. We did a couple in a row. So I'm pulling back, I'm pulling back still pulling back it's it's tough to do and there that was, that was a subtle break that was a little more subtle than the first one but uh, very good practice all right this is my very first approach and landing in uh, the diamond so don't judge <laughs> uh, so here I am coming in trying to control my speed I did get a little slow and you'll see what the consequences of that are uh, so I'm coming in uh, again, pretty slow, and, I, and I'm flaring a bit too soon, so we we uh, kind of dropped and had a slight bounce. But you know, as they say, if uh, if, not, if I can walk away from this, it's a good landing. And if the airplane can uh, fly the next day, it's a great landing. So must have been a, a great landing. Not really, but uh, for my first time, I'll take it. Uh, my next training flights uh, are going to include not only more landings, but uh, emergency procedures and such. So, yeah, thank you all for uh, joining me on my inaugural Diamond DA-40 flight, and uh, I hope you're joining me for future flights. See ya.